Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. We're Matt and Summer and we taught luxury properties. Today we have a cool house to show you. It's this one behind me, which is a six bedroom house priced at three million pounds. So we're in Cobham in Surrey. I'll pop a map up on the screen so you can see exactly where we are. Let's start from the outside. We're gonna do a complete walkthrough of the house. Matt and I aren't agents. We're just touring these luxury properties. So we're gonna try and give you as much info as we know. But let's start from the outside. If you spin around, Matt. So the front driveway starts up there. You can see you've got large electric gates and then this sweeping driveway is kind of curved with these gorgeous trees. Yeah, it feels really like woodlandy. And then set back is the house. Now, we're unsure of how old the house was and when it was built. Um, we'll maybe try to find that out and let you know in the description. But this is the parking. So we've got two matching, nearly matching cars over there. And then the large double garage is on this side. How nice is this weather, hey? Oh, it's I'm so loving good. It. And part of the, well, the best part really for this house for me is the gardens. Yes. So the, stay tuned for that. The garden is like the selling point, I think, for this house. It's also got a Japanese garden. Okay, shall we head to the entrance? Let's do it. Okay, so this is the little porch. You've got these four pillars um, and then this kind of porch area with the wood logs. Come on in. Okay, so the first thing you notice when you come in is this grand staircase in the center. And then on the floor, there's this stone flooring. So you'll see throughout this house, it's kind of gone for like this French Regency style. Um, it's quite traditional, but it's cool to see. We see lots of different properties on our channel, so make sure you're subscribed. I'll quickly pop the floor plan up so you can get your bearings. You've got four and a half thousand square feet, including the garage and six bedrooms in total. Which way should we start? Should we go through to this room? Yeah, through those double doors. Yeah, so double doors into the dining room. Really large, large room. Again, same flooring throughout the entire ground floor. And then the working fireplace. Um, again, it's got that Regency style kind of, it's not actually a super old house, I don't think. We're um, probably like 15, 20 years old, we reckon. Yeah, but some of the materials like the flooring yeah. kind of gives it that older, more classic look. Then if you look up to this chandelier, you see lots of lights, <clears throat> sorry, lights like this with the detailing. Now should we flow into the kitchen? Let's do it. So the kitchen is sort of like an open plan kitchen diner as you have a four seated breakfast table on that side. Now let's start on this part of the kitchen. You've got your fridge freezer, fridge freezer, fridge freezer, fridge freezer. <laughs> um, your Neff ovens and then your sink facing out to your garden, which is the best view of the house. Then we have the Bosch dishwasher integrated and then your um, Bosch induction hob in the, it's actually a peninsula, not an island. Yeah. But you've got granite worktops. And let's head around this side. You've got two bar stools, or chairs actually, to eat up on the peninsula. And here's the four seater breakfast table and double doors out to the garden. We'll head out there to, at the end of the video. Um, there's like a Japanese garden, there's like a fire pit, there's loads of different kind of cool features. Now let's head through to this room. This is sort of set up as a snug room. You've got the fireplace um, at the back there. Oh, that's a log burner over there, yeah. Yeah, I log burner. It's more of like a snug, cozy room. And um, we'll show you the main living room in a sec. And then you've just got a back door here and then a downstairs toilet through here if you want to poke your head in, Matt. Yep. Just a downstairs. Okay, let's head back to the entrance hall. Actually, we did miss the utility. I know you guys like to see everything, so this has got, obviously got lots of stuff in at the moment, but just out of the way of the kitchen. Okay, back in the entrance hall from the kitchen. Let's come to the study. Again, two double doors. This is really nice, isn't it? Look at this cabinets in the back, this navy colour with the books on. And yeah, it's quite cool. On that side. Yeah, I think this room works well as a study. It's at the front of the house. You're looking out onto your driveway. Um, but yeah. Okay, now the living room is next to this. So you could open it all up if you wanted, but like you say, Simmer, I think it's better as a separate study. Yeah. This is actually a really big 
living room too. We have put the lights on, um, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. Yeah, have a working fireplace in here. Definitely feels quite French. Yeah, it does. This fireplace is huge, isn't it? Yeah, How much it's space massive. It takes up? It's a stone fireplace. Um, but it's super quiet in, in the house. And then these are double doors again for you opening up to your garden. Sorry, I'm getting hay fever today, so my, my eyes are running. And <laughs> those are, oh, I feel bad for anyone. Team hay fever Team people. Team hay fever club. Okay, should we check out upstairs or have we got any more? Yeah, let's check see? upstairs. I'll take the camera now and you can show everyone. Okay, let's go, let's go check it out. So obviously two options here at the staircase, six bedrooms in total. We've got this way first of all, and then we'll work our way around. Um, there's actually three floors in total, but so on the first floor, we've got bedroom through here. So they're all double bedrooms. Obviously this one has nice, nice view to the garden and then a wardrobe space over here. Next one, let's go through this bedroom. Obviously this is currently set out as a gym, kind of like a workroom, but equally you can see that you can have double bed here or there, windows to the garden, and then actually two sets of wardrobes in here. Let us know down below what you guys think about the house and if you'd change anything. Yeah, so this is just an airing cupboard. It's always good with these houses. Obviously you can see it's got lots of potential to change customize. Yeah, that's a cool light. Um, you'd want like a big, yeah, chandelier in the yeah. center. So next bedroom's through here. A little different this one, so it is a bit bigger and it obviously faces towards the front of the house. So you've still got three big windows and the distance between the gates and the house is still quite good. So obviously for garden view, that's nice. And then over this side is the ensuite. This is a really light room, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously like, you know, it is a lived in house. So it's not quite like some of the show showrooms that we show you guys. But yeah, you can see, see what you've got. Nice. And then the wardrobes are on that side. On that side. Yeah, we won't go through them. The other side of the hallway now, another bedroom. So as you can see, this is another double bedroom facing the front. We've got wardrobes here and here if you want to show everyone them summer. Over here is the ensuite. This one's a little smaller than the other ensuite, but you've got a nice big standing shower still, so plenty of space. Can you see that? Yeah. This property is listed with Finding Country. Yes, Finding Country. All their details in the description below. Yeah, message Lynn if you want any more details. Now, let's go across the hall. Now, through here is actually the main bedroom out of all of them. So this one's quite a bit bigger. So as you come in, before we show you the bedroom area, if you take a look through there, something you've got like a walk-in wardrobe, dual sides, and then the ensuite is through here. And again, here you've got space for quite a big freestanding bath shower dual sinks here's the shower interesting mosaic tiles yeah something different and then this is the bedroom yeah so, super spacious this room yeah but they're all really good sizes that's a good yeah. thing about the big houses they have such big bedrooms and this one's got the best view of the garden and it's just woodland behind that as well yeah and we're really close do you remember the school name ace asc International School. I think so, yeah. It's a really popular school. And you can get to that through walking to the forest. We'll show you that in the garden. I love how the grass is like, you know, when it's dark green, it's got lines on the grass. Oh yeah, curtain stripes. Okay, lastly then, on this floor is the main bathroom where you've got another bath and a shower. So, like for guests and everything. And now let's head up to the next floor. Yeah, so this is like a loft room. Um, I couldn't pinpoint one use of it right now because obviously it's got a lot of things going on. We've got a bed, we've got a sewing station, we've got a games area. Um, so it could be a teenage bedroom, perhaps, where you could have bedrooms either side. You could have a gym up here. Yeah, this is super cool. Yeah. There's actually two beds in this room. Oh, is there one around here? So you've got that single bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, a double bed. Yeah, small double as well. Yeah, so if you were like a kid and you you played the drums, you had a, like an <laughs> air hockey thing. Room for activities. <laughs> yeah, so much room for activities. Yeah. Oh, what's that little door down there, Matt? That would just be the loft eaves, a bit of storage. 
No. Do you want me to explore it? Your bedroom. My bedroom? Mm. What? That is a small door. Yeah, yeah. just storage. Yeah, so storage. Used mm. to the max. Okay, guys, we're going to show you the garden. As we said, that's one of the best parts. We'll meet you down there. Let's go. Okay, guys, just before we go out to the garden, let me show you the double garage that's through this door. See a lot of stuff in there at the moment. Now we'll take you to the garden. Show you around. Here we are. So outside, you've got this patio area. She loads of space, and then it goes onto the lawn. There's a few different garden sections. I think there's a Japanese style garden over here. Come on through. Yeah, so this kind of connects the front lawn with the back over this little like Kui style pond. Yeah, but let's show you to the back of the garden. Hello. Let's show you to the back of the garden. What was that? Oh, it's, it's a dragonfly. I'm not a National Geographic videographer, so I wouldn't be able to get that. Welcome to the wildlife. <laughs> How do you get the green lines in the lawn? Do you just go opposite ways? Yeah, you just mow it up and down. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I can do that for you, no worries. <laughs> get me a sit on. <laughs> so over here we've got some more pond area to feature and a nice bridge connecting it through. Oh yeah, that's cool. I wonder if we've got any fish in here. Yeah, I yeah. can see some fish. Here we go, I can see one there. Now come over this side. There's a hammock there. Gonna give you a quick preview of what it looks like from the, this. Yeah. Wow. Now that more and more people want outdoor space, don't they? Um, a lot of people are moving out of London. This here, I think there's a train line a couple of minutes away, it's like 25 minutes into Waterloo Station. Yeah. So you can move out of London and have all this space. Show you through here. Nice. 20. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this brings us on to the fire pit, which is. This is a cool. really cool feature. Okay, now Matt, we're doing a house tour, not a football tour. On the rock. Oh. Here, kick to me, see if I can do it. Yeah, all right. There nice. we go, with a camera in my hand. Yeah, so... Let's keep exploring. Okay, is there more, yeah? This oh. is where you can go out to the forest. Wait, this is a little nook. I like that word, nook. Milu by the nook, if you know, you know. Barley best restaurant in Bali. So from this forest, what you can do is you can walk directly across there and actually get to the school. Mm -hmm. that we were oh, talking there's somebody about over there. I can yeah. see somebody walking. So it's like you've got your private gate and then straight onto this woodland where you can cycle and walk all the way that way. There's like lots of nice trails. So that's pretty cool to just be right on the doorstep of so much outdoor activities. What have we got down this way? We've got a gardening section over here. We meet back on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. We've explored this garden and this house enough now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you want to see us tour some more amazing houses around the UK, just like this. So yeah, all the details will find a country in the description below. See you guys in the next video.